All right, so if I take a look at this graph, what I want you to notice is, first of all, always read your graph going from left to right. So if I'm going from left to right, I'm going to be going up. That's increasing. I'm going down, decreasing. If you are on flat ground, it's called constant. Back up is increasing, back down, decreasing, and then finally increasing again. So what I want to know is what intervals on here and how would I write the intervals for an increasing function. So all of the increasing functions I've already marked in this are green. So for all of these, increasing and decreasing, we're going to define all of these over an open interval. Whenever you have open intervals, you want to use parentheses for everything. So as I'm starting for this function, this function is going up. Again, I'm going always read the graph from left to right. I'm going up. I'm starting at negative infinity, and I'm going all the way up until I get to this point, and we only use our x values for this. So my first interval where the function is increasing goes from negative infinity to positive. The next part where I'm going from increasing is going to be this section of the graph. Again, I'm going to my x values. So this one is increasing from 3 to 5. Again, use parentheses. Actually, let's go ahead and just join those together by making them a union. Give me some some more room on the slide. And then the last one is from here going up, but and it doesn't matter that there is an open circle here, it's still going up. Oops, let me get my three to five. And then the last one is going to be going from again x values eight to ten. Now decreasing. Decreasing is every place on this graph where the graph is going from left to right heading down. So here and here. So the decreasing parts of those functions, again, my x values go from negative 6 to my x value here, which is negative 4, always open parentheses. And the next one is down here at 5 to 8. Now, the one that we haven't talked about yet is the flat ground. That is my part of my function that is flat. And that is my constant function. And that is constant going from negative 4, my x value, all the way up to three. Again, you're looking for your x value always in these pieces. Now, what is an extrema? So extrema means what are the highest and lowest points on this graph as being high or low for all the points around them. So if I look right here, that value is higher than everything else around it. That's an extrema point. In this case, this would be considered a local or relative max. Same thing here. That also would be considered a local max. It's the highest point of those graph. That is what I mean by extrema, relative minimums or maxes. In this case, it's both max. So the extrema for this point are those two values, write this as a point, and that point is going to be negative 6, 5 for the first one. The other one is at x value of 5, and 8. Now, the last piece that we have here that is also an extrema is this point down here. This one's not a 
relative max. This one is a min. We still need to go ahead and include that one. And that appears to be my x value is at 8. And my y value here is a negative 3. So this is my local min or relative min. Now, the last page of this notes, there are four more examples. Please go through and do those, and we will discuss them in class.